Viltilarsen is a medication used to treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy, DMD, which is a genetic muscle disorder. It works by increasing the amount of a muscle protein called dystrophin in your body. This can help improve muscle function in people with DMD. The recommended dosage of Viltilarsen is 50 mg per milliliter, and it is administered as an intravenous solution. It is important to follow your doctor's instructions for the correct dosage and timing of administration. Be sure to discuss the best time to take this medication with your healthcare provider. This solution is administered through an injection into a vein by a healthcare professional as prescribed by your doctor. Typically, it is given once weekly for a duration of 60 minutes. The dosage is determined based on your weight. If your condition does not improve or worsens, it is important to inform your doctor. Some possible side effects of Viltilarsen 50 mg per milliliter intravenous solution may include pain, bruising, redness at the injection site, abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, or joint pain. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects, but it's important to be aware of potential signs of kidney problems, signs of infection, shortness of breath, unusual tiredness, and serious allergic reactions. If you experience any serious side effects or symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. It's also important to notify your doctor of any other effects not listed and to seek medical advice about side effects. Before using Viltilarsen, make sure to inform your doctor about any allergies you may have, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It is also important to tell your doctor about any kidney problems you may have before starting this medication. If you are pregnant, it is important to discuss the risks and benefits of using this medication with your doctor, as it should only be used when clearly needed during pregnancy. Similarly, if you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication, as it is unknown if the drug passes into breast milk. Before undergoing any surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. This will help your healthcare provider make informed decisions about your care. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions as they may affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. This medication may also interfere with certain lab tests, so it's crucial to inform your lab personnel and doctors about your use of this drug. Remember to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your healthcare providers, and always consult your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If someone has taken too much Viltilarsen and is experiencing severe symptoms like losing consciousness or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canada residents can call a provincial poison control center. Before starting Viltilarsen 50 mg per milliliter intravenous solution, it is important to have lab and or medical tests, such as kidney function tests. These tests should also be done while you are using this medication. It is important to keep all medical and lab appointments. If you have any questions or concerns, consult your doctor for more details. Remember to take each dose of Viltilarsen 50 mg per milliliter intravenous solution as directed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist for a new dosing schedule. This medication, Viltilarsen 50 mg per milliliter intravenous solution, is typically administered in a clinical setting and is not meant to be stored at home. It is used to treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy in patients who have a confirmed mutation of the dystrophin gene that is amenable to exon 53 skipping. The recommended dosage is determined by a healthcare professional and is administered intravenously. The optimal timing and frequency of administration will be determined by your healthcare provider. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. 
Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.